Hi Pirates, how's everyone? It's Ren here and this video is about how to build an Overlord Carrier. This is right now I think the strongest defender in the game. It's a mortar ship, it has an extra mortar range of 100%, you can see that. It has some decent deflections. The primarily weaknesses you see here are ballistic and concussive. So these are the ones you would have to shore up with armors if you can. It has two R's. The first one slows down the enemies minus 50% combat speed and it cannot be countered by tactical field resistance it doesn't say that anywhere in here but Kixai said that when the, the ship was released and the second aura it makes your Paroyans better it makes them debuff more with each hit and up to a higher cap okay one thing you will not see here is that it targets the weakest ship but you don't see that in here and the main reason is because that feature is not on the ship is actually on its weapon the hierarchy mortar when we put a couple in here as we should when you look at the hierarchy mortar description you have right there weapon ai lowest health so after every round it fires it searches for the lowest health ship in range and retargets to that one. The, the current armors available to defenders are very weak, and I hear Kixai will be releasing better ones, but right now with what we have, you should probably use the strongest concussive, which is the level 8 concussive armor, and probably the ballistic one as well, since trenchers and warhounds will be the main ships killing the, the overlord carrier. So we could go with ballistic, Concussive, and if you want some extra concussive, now you have to resort to that combo armor that has concussive and corrosive. So this is the best you can do in terms of deflections. It's not going to make it live a lot longer, but it helps a little bit. In terms of specials, there's two things you want to work with here. Because of the very long range, you want to work with projectile speed. And you want to work with, of course, explosive damage to uh, overcome the deflection conquerors may have so the first special we're going to look for is anything improving explosive damage right here so these are the options we have and some of them are incompatible with others so right off the bat i'll tell you the two best options are number one the desolation warheads if you don't have it number two it's the high explosive shells for so again best option desolation warheads we'll start with that now let's see what else we can do for again explosive damage so here explosive damage again now we're very limited we could use the explosive upgrade for 10 percent we could use the explosive force for 15%, but you lose range. And the best option again is the garrison battery MKX, which will give you 18%. It's more than the other options with no downside. Now, if we look at it, we have the damage increase to almost a million, right? And that's divided, of course, by three mortars. And we have the projectile speed and spread and splash bonuses from Desolation Warhead. Now next up, we got to work with either more projectile speed or and or reload. So let's look at explosive reload. So there's nothing else here that would help us with that. Now you can try a little bit different and go with mortar reload. And now we do have a few options. So the best one being the CMXM Reloader. It gives you 90% mortar reload. So this is good. It doesn't help you with projectile speed at all. But, you know, the 90% mortar reload is very good, too good to pass up on. And now we could look again, either projectile speed. Unfortunately, sometimes you have to retype to get a filter so here we have 30 percent which is that's that's good we won't use the combat speed bonus but but the evade and projectile speed could be a good choice 
right? So 30% evade. And now we have 130% projectile speed. That helps. Or we could go and just try, see if you can find more, anything else for mortar reload. There's still siege reloader. So you could go for extra 30% mortar reload, but no extra projectile speed. Or you could go for 30% projectile speed. I'll leave this last one up to you. You can go more reload, more projectile speed. Really. Um, I'm not certain which one is best. Uh, it's entirely up to you. You could also look at things such as stun resistance against rockets, or you could just put an anti-rocket turret right next to it and hope that helps you. Because otherwise, people will be able to pinch. You could go with agility system here too. But if you're building for damage, um, this is the build I recommend. That's it, but it's very simple. So I'm going to get this code, share on the video description. And this is your Overlord carry. It takes a long time to build, as you can see here. If you build with a third one and then refit the component, it saves you four or five days. But this is the setup, okay? Again, Hyper 30 or Siege Reloader or Agility System 4. I'm not particularly set on that final special. And of course, you could also stack even more damage and just go with the Explosive Upgrade for 10% more damage. So I'll leave you with that. Take care, Pirates. See you next time.